All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to John Wick Hex. It's... Ah, uh, how do I describe it? It's turn-based, but kinda Hotline Miami-ish? Eh, not so much Hotline Miami. I guess, honestly, the closest I can think of a comparison is maybe, like... XCOM, but you're playing as one character, and you're, like, fighting through groups of enemies, kinda sneaking around, but for the most part, not so much, though. I don't know, it's really neat. I played a little bit of it earlier, but I'm gonna start over. Uh, just because. And we're gonna do operator mode, because expedited is holy shit, I don't know if I can do that. Some time ago, before Helen. John fucking Wick. Indeed. Fuck. He's quite the imposition, is he not? Surely you must have known our disappearance would not go unnoticed. Oh, sure. I assumed your high table would try. Put up a contract to send someone sniffing around. I didn't think they dispatched the devil. I presume our present location is not on any maps. None. Nobody knows about this place. That's probably why your friend started searching at Edgar Wu's place in Chinatown. Mr. Wu is in your employ. He was. He ran everything south of 14. Made no secret of our relationship. Well, he was proud of it. I honestly believed that Hex, you, were a fiction, a myth, to keep the stuff in line. I worked hard on that, staying out of sight. Until you decided to kidnap us. Yeah, until then. You have a higher purpose, and that purpose requires certain... Theatrics. I always did enjoy a little theater. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of zip through the tutorial because I've already done it. Uh, let's see. Why does that guy sound like Zavala from Destiny 2? Pretty sure it's the same voice actor. Uh, let's see. So yeah, I've I've already done this. I don't know why we have to wait for it to load like this. It's probably just so you don't zip through it, but since I've already zipped, doesn't matter so much anyway. Knock him out. Uh, let's see, we don't want to take his stuff. Our gun is currently better. Where are we going? We're going this way, but I think there's a dude on the left. I could be wrong. So, it's turn-based, but there's kind of an interesting thing. Up here is time. So we are not just, uh, eh. we're not just limited to, uh, let's see, Bip. nope, we're not, uh, limited to just, like, turns, but you have to kind of keep how long everything takes in mind. So for this, I could walk up to this guy and try and do a takedown on him, but the time might not be so friendly. Because if you notice, it's going to take me 1.2 seconds to reach this man. Before that happens, he might actually pull out his gun and try and... Uh, he might pull out his gun and shoot me. And I'm not entirely sure what the timing is on that. So it's probably easier that I just shoot him. Uh, let's see. Oh, I didn't get him. I can shoot him again. Because, yeah, I must have missed. Uh, let's see. I can throw the gun, which will get him right before... Yeah. Okay, so where's my gun? I think... Yeah, custom handgun. There we go. So, yeah, I hucked my gun at him to take him out. He did drop his own gun, but it's not really worth it. Intros and executions. So, all attack actions have an intro, which is the gray area before, and then the execution, you can be interrupted. So I want to shoot this guy. And he's quite dead. Because, yeah, I can't actually intercept the man. Let's see. Crouch. Ow. Okay, so I, I took uh, too long there and actually ended up getting shot. I should pay attention and probably get out of this. Refocus. I don't think we have anything else. But yeah, I wasn't paying attention to how much time it would take. I just figured since I was already uh, crouched, it wouldn't be 
Uh, I, I would get the first shot off, but I guess I was wrong. Anyway, continue on. Let's see. So we've got this person. Now, this is a brawler. Brawlers do not have guns. They just come up and attack you in melee. Uh, which kind of works out in my, my favor here, because I can just take down. I mean, in this case, I can super take down. Okay, this person... Ow. I'm just going to flee behind. I'll just wait for them to come for me. Now, okay, so if you look at the timeline at the top, the topmost bar is me. He is the one slightly below. So if I do takedown, it'll, um, I think parry only works for melee. Uh, so the takedown takes place slightly before he starts shooting, which means I don't get shot. I can also strike him, um, but striking does not kill. It'll take out all of his focus, which I'm not entirely sure how that works, and I think there is a stun. Let's, we could try double striking here. So let's strike, and if I do another strike, because yeah, he's stunned for a while. So I might have been better off striking the previous character. But I'm just going to shoot this man. Okay, do we have anybody else here? Okay. I'm going to strike this man. And I guess I'm just going to take him down. I know there's other people on this map, I just don't know where they are. Okay, firearm efficiency, reloading discards all of the ammo. So yeah, it doesn't play like other games. Oh, shit. This man's about to shoot me. I'm just gonna get shot, aren't I? My health is low. I think I might be in trouble here. And we have an enemy striking coming. I didn't realize a man was going to walk straight out of the... So I can dodge at the cost of a bit of focus. Focus is low. Uh, oh, interesting. The higher my focus... I can strike this man. I can parry. I can shoot him. Parry doesn't work. I should strike him. Move here, and I'm dead. Yeah, I got surrounded. Let's try that again. Where does this drop me? Okay, just beginning of this round. That's not so bad. I was worried that this is going to be kind of like a roguelike. Okay. If there was another man around here, this guy. He's going to shoot me first. I can throw my gun. He's going to be stunned for a bit. There's three. Pick up handgun. This went poorly. Let's see. That might... Can I just... I don't want to restart. This went worse. This went much worse. And I'm pretty sure I missed him. Damn! Alright, whatever. Bandaging up. I got two shots left, which is not great. Let's see. I roll here. Okay, I can shoot him. So that might have actually worked out. Okay, change stance, refocus, reload, and I'm pretty sure there's a, uh, there's a bandage up here. Alright, this works out. Pick up the bandages, and got anything else here? No. So this was messy. Both of, both of my routes through this were messy. I was trying to do melee, but it didn't work the greatest. If I crouch, 
We can roll. Stand up. Okay, so he's gonna shoot me. Damn it. I guess I'm just gonna take him down. Just, God damn it. Alright, whatever. Just shooting him. He shot me and then started moving away before I could actually take him down, but that's fine. Can you take their guns? Yes. Uh, the one thing is my custom handgun I think is a little bit better. Uh, not that much better. But yes, yeah, so you can take their guns. You can only carry one gun with you at a time. Let's see, enemies have different things, yes. Edgar's boys are rather unpleasant, if I recall correctly. Who among our kind are innocent? We are murderers, thieves, and worse. Speak for yourself. Yeah. They really, they really Even wanted me to code, know about these things. There are rules. True. Oh. For those without the vision to transcend them. Okay. I guess I didn't kill this man with the takedown. I gotta pay more attention. Let's see, you can't carry their ammo? No, for whatever reason, you can only carry... Uh... Let's see, this guy is a brawler. So I don't actually have to... Oh... Okay, we're not adjacent yet. There we go, take him down. Ow. Really? Okay, that should be fine. Okay, so I'm getting... I've taken some damage. I'm gonna scoot around to the back. Not sure if there's anything else particularly useful here. But still. Worth checking. And the back is open. Okay. I'm not really sure. Larger encounters. Fight will get dangerous quickly. Remember the timeline. Use sight lines and play the odds. Remember the moving and crouching reduce your chances of getting hit. Good luck. Oh boy. Okay. Gun. 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 Shit. So this person's about to shoot me. I am very dead. And, wow. Okay, so note to self going around the back is a bad idea, because we immediately get ambushed. John is dead, retry. Uh, okay. Let's try this again. At least it shouldn't redo the tutorial Edgar's stuff. Edgar's boys are rather unpleasant, if I recall correctly. Who among our kind are innocent? We are murderers, thieves, and worse. Speak for yourself. We live by a code. There are rules. True. For those without the vision to transcend them. Oh. We missed. Wow. Or... One way or another, we didn't kill the person, which is kind of unfortunate. Yeah, the RNG is going to throw me off harder than I'd like. So that's a brawler. That's a guy in the back. I'm going to try and shoot the man in the back. There we go. Because last time I tried fighting them, I got... Uh, let's see. Will interrupt. Wait for a bit longer. Okay, strike. And second strike. Okay, now he's legit dead. I'm gonna poke around this side. Unfortunately, no matter what, entering this building is going to piss some people off. What I'd like to do is see if there's any reinforcements. But yeah, no matter what, going around the back was a bad idea. So we don't want to be here. At all. I'm gonna go with this side door. Let's refocus. Open the door. Who do we have? We have this man. 
Nope, we didn't get him. Crouch. Roll. I almost feel like they're coming for me here. Weird. Oh, we s I see them. Okay. Let's bail around the corner. They're slower than I am, and I'd rather them come to my shooting gallery where I have some spare guns lying around, because I'm probably going to re replace the custom handgun pretty quickly. Uh, let's find a gun with some ammo. This one? Don't know if automatics are any good, but still. Let's see, 10 more ammo. It does amuse me how most people just kind of leisurely walk towards me. I'm just gonna keep shooting at him. There we go. I think I'm gonna give up mostly on melee, because I don't think it's worth it. Ah. Oh. There was a person there? Oh, there's the person. There we go. How much ammo do I have? Five. I'm gonna take that. I'm wondering if... Yeah, these are just respawns. Take down that way. Let's see how much ammo do I have? I get a little bit more. So I think people just keep respawning from these doors. Okay. And that's a bit of an issue. Okay, locked, enemies close. Now this is, this is just a brawler. I can work brawlers. Okay, they're dead. Pick up the spent, or the somewhat spent gun. Do a parry. These guys are just infinite, aren't they? Oh, this is awkward. Okay, so let's get out of that. Are you done? It feels like the hallway scene. Eh, maybe not the hallway scene. But yeah, I wasn't expect- I wasn't expecting the enemies to keep respawning like that. I don't like that. That actually- that feels kind of punishing. It's like, okay, you're going kind of slow. Here's endless enemies. I mean, realistically, as long as they don't take damage, it's not so bad. Okay. Pause is sometimes necessary. Really wish they didn't make me wait to see these tutorials, because I've I've already been using these tools. Okay. Let's take his gun. Nope. Shoot this man. Keep shooting this man. Nope. Keep shooting this man. Then grab that gun. I mean, I guess the, the point is it's supposed to keep you moving. To master John Wick Hex, play the timeline. Top player shows your actions. Yeah, so we already know this. Okay, this is a brawler. If it's just a brawler, then we're good. We have another man, though. Oh, ball. Where did you come from? Oh, shit.
Wait, what? Oh, that's weird. We got, like, locked out of a dodge, but yeah, one of these people respawned from a door and got me there. Yeah. But yeah, I'm not... I get the point of the endless enemies. You know, it's kind of a... Well, there's just a shit ton of people in these situ in these situations. Okay, let's do strike. Ah, balls. Yeah, not mu much I can do about that one. Pick that gun up. We're probably going to want to heal. Okay, he's dead. Let's bandage up. Oh, that takes some time. But that's okay. There's another bandage at the very least. Okay, then I'm going to roll back a bit. I'm just going to start shooting. just gonna keep checking my butt because I'm sure there's going to be somebody now if I throw the gun I can just pick this one up pick up the bandages and keep scooting along Anything else? No. I'm not a big fan of the gun that I'm currently utilizing. But I don't have much of a choice. Okay. Uh, let's see. So my strike will come first. That's good. I've only got a couple of bullets left, so I guess let's go back to this one. Five bullets is enough to get me places. And area complete. Okay, so... and... Edgar is upstairs. Who made a last stand on safe ground? Safe? Nowhere in this city is safe. My people lack the protections and grand illusions of the high table. Nothing is safe. We live outside your pageantry and false currency. Okay, so push no. Parry? No. Parry's not gonna work. We're just gonna dodge out. I'm just gonna chuck the chuck the gun. Then hit with a strike. We need ammo. There's ammo. Pick up the ammo. Uh, what else do we got here? I, I realize that my commentary is just a laundry list of commentary here. Uh, uh, commentary plans. Positioning. Take down. Push. Let you move John and or the enemy through an attack. Use it to separate enemies, close gla gaps, or block sight lines. Yeah, I haven't had a whole lot of luck with that. Now, this is a brawler. We want to kill this guy first. Okay, I want to move here. Shoot this one. Let's see, throw the gun at this guy. Shoot, no. Parry will stun him, I think. Okay, I think it works. Take down here. I like it, though. It's kind of a fun mechanic. It's... This is almost what I wanted, uh... Shadow Tactics Blades of the Shogun to be like. With the the constant calculated movements instead of the the real-time element. Cause this makes more sense to me, I guess. Uh, let's see, we got six shots. Let's go for the eight. are close. Are they? Ick. Just 
break the sight line. Okay, I'm just gonna shoot this person point blank. Is that good enough? Because yeah, I don't think anybody's getting to her from there. Unfortunate. So this is actually in the world of Wick? Yeah, this is a prequel before before Helen even came along and and drove him to retirement. Oh, I might as well just start chucking guns at people. Let's see. Take down. Take him back down the way he came from. Okay. Can we get another bandage? I'm doing all right. Now that I'm not loyal to my starting gun, this actually worked generally better for me. There's less stealth in this than I was expecting. Okay, so he's gonna shoot me. I'm gonna shoot him slightly earlier. That's good. And I'm gonna go take his gun. But yeah, having no loyalty to the gun that I'm currently wear wielding seems to be working out much better for me. Bosses are different. Bosses have more health. Their shots cannot be interrupted like other enemies. Their high focus makes them harder to shoot, so deplete focus via melee to make life easier. Melee attacks do no health damage to bosses, but decrease their focus and cause stunts. Oh boy. So... Okay, so we want to do a parry. Then we want to do... I can't do a takedown. I could do a refocus, but that's a bad idea. So I'm just going to strike him. I'm going to strike him again. I think I'm just going to keep striking him. So, does no damage... But it does mess with his focus. Cool. Then I'm gonna refocus. Perfect. How much ammo do I have? I got six. And he's got his focus back. Uh, that didn't work. Okay, he's got a strike. I could do a takedown real quick. And let's just kick him while he's down. Second takedown. Grab my gun. Let's shoot him. Didn't work. Okay. Let's take him down again. I'm just gonna bully this guy. I kind of wish takedowns would at least do some damage to him. It's a little silly that I have to shoot this man. Let's see. Because... Like, I'm just bullying him to death, I guess. It kind of works. It's a little weird. Anyway, completed Chinatown. Game time taken five minutes. Real time taken 30 minutes. Yeah, that's about accurate. Par is three minutes, 25 seconds. Uh, if I beat that, I earn a name. Beat all pars, earn a name. I don't know what the names are. I... I... Oh, I see. New name earned for location. Zmei Grinch. The many-handed dragon. Wick is a master of all firearms. Oh, I see. So these, these are... Uh, titles that he's earned for killing all these people. Edgar was loyal to the end. He told Wick nothing. A stronger man than many would be in his situation. I presume from your demeanor that this was not the end of Mr. Wick's search. Oh no. He'd barely begun. Why on earth did you bring us here, Hex? It has been wonderful catching up, I must say, but there are other matters we could both be attending to. You are the key to a particularly difficult lock. You see, the high table who rule over your hotel and the world beyond it, they're a mask, a palate facade, like all governments, over a simple truth. 
Power defines our place. Power defines our reality. The High Table has never been shy in this matter. All declare fealty. All must be of service. Well, maybe not all. All who wish to keep their heads? Hmm. The powerful. You see, they don't respect those who bend the knee. They celebrate them, flatter them, give them titles and lands and the illusion of self-determinism, but they don't respect them. Power respects power. To earn a place by their side, a man needs to demonstrate power. Is that why you plucked us en route? An attempt to demonstrate power? No. See, killing you on the steps of the Continental, on sacred ground, and fearing no repercussions, that demonstrates power. They will hunt you down. The adjudicator will, will respect me and my birthright. Please, continue your story. I wonder where Jonathan went next. Elysium. One of Wu's clubs. Cheap thrills and overpriced drinks. Its only admirable quality is its owner. A brawler named Osborne. Man after my own heart. Wick thought someone like Osborne would know where to find me. But to ask... He need to fight his way to the center of a fortress. Huh. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is interesting. Welcome to the planning phase. You cannot save during save up continental coins. Use the location budget to stash bandages and spare weapons. Surplus currency is lost. Some areas are inaccessible beforehand. So nothing can be placed. Others are riskier and therefore more expensive to place items in. Custom suit tailoring is costly, but benefits you throughout every map in this location. Interesting. So this is tailoring. Uh, let's see. So these are things that I can grab. Right, you're ready to the storage. So this is the map. There's something about placing items, but I don't see anything of the sort. Oh, VIP expensive stash. Interesting. Oh, I see. So we can stash a 9mm automatic or a bandage. So expensive stash, no stashing at all? Yeah, stash is just straight up unavailable. Alternatively, I mean, the bespoke tailoring seems like a good idea. Moving penalty on incoming shoot attacks is increased, lowering enemy hit chance, dodge costs one less focus point, increases range of push attack by two. So these two are pretty good. So let's grab those. And question, go from here, question mark. Anyway, so is this game canon and made by people related to the series? So I was actually reading about this during the uh, the cutscene there because uh, I was curious. You know, is so this is an official game, um, but apparently it came about because Mike Bethel, the, the, I guess, lead director for this game, he's the guy that came up with Thomas Was Alone and I guess probably more famously uh, Volume which is part of the reason why this game got made. Uh, I am a huge fan of Thomas Was Alone. It's one of the few games that has ever actually made me cry, which, like, probably wouldn't do so now, but at the time I thought it was beautiful. And it's still one of those games that I've been really wanting to go and play at some point, just to be like, hey, here's, like, one of the earliest indie games I ever played. And, you know, it's a pretty simple game, but it was super charming, and I really enjoyed it. Um, but apparently, so Mike Bethel was talking to uh, one of the people at Good Shepherd Entertainment, which is the publisher for this game, and they just seen, I guess, some action film. I, I'm just reading this from Wikipedia, but accurate. You know what, screw it, I'll just read the whole thing out, because I think it's interesting how this game came about, and I really appreciate that... Oh boy, this is a bit loud, or loud long. Uh, but I really appreciate having these stories, because most indie ga games, you almost never get the origin story for how the game came about. And so this one was kind of interesting, but effectively, Bethel was talking about uh, making a game, a John Wick-oriented game. 
and he came up with a concept for John Wick chess, where the player would have to make decisions as the situation changes, which is kind of interesting. And more or less, like, some indeterminate amount of time later, the friend he was talking to about this idea was just talking to Lionsgate, you know, by chance. Because Lionsgate, the people that made this this movie specific, uh, specific, or Lionsgate are the people that made John Wick, and so they they were looking for video game options, and so Good Shepherd Entertainment was like, oh hey, uh, we already have a developer that's come up with a game concept for this and pitched it, and Lionsgate wanted more than just an unoriginal game as a cash grab, but something that distanced itself from uh what one would expect for a John Wick orientated game, which is good. You know, I think normally a, a John Wick themed game probably would have been a third person shooter or just, I mean, honestly, if they had done like a, a super hot tie in, I think that would have worked just about as well. But I think this is actually pretty neat. And so then they immediately just dove into making this game and it got greenlit in the middle of last year. And apparently Bethel was also given a script for John Wick 3 early on, you know, before the movie came out, so he could actually, uh, interesting. Yeah, he even watched, like, the, the filming and action and some other stuff to get the actions in. Uh, one of the things you might notice in the game, by the way, is whenever John Wick shoots somebody, he shoots them twice. And apparently that's actually canon to the movies, too. Most enemies would only shoot uh, shoot me once in game, but John would always shoot twice. And yeah, that that's how it was in the movie. I had no idea. I never paid attention. I was just yeah, he double taps. And so like for me, I just was like, okay, yeah, that's kind of neat. But now that I've seen that like that crossover between the movie and the mechanics, it's like no, that's that's really clever design. And so I like it. I like this game a lot. I think the one thing that hurts me a little bit is I'd almost prefer it if it was a much bigger open map. I brought up Shadow Tactics Blades of the Shogun, and I think that might have almost worked better for this kind of concept, a, a bigger map with multiple avenues of approach. Because as it stands, it's kind of, it's fairly linear, uh, your your path through things. And so the level design is much more of a, a series of hallways and obstacles as opposed to kind of like a well, do you go in through the window? Do you sneak around? Do you set fire to the kitchen? And I guess that's more of a hitman thing than John Wick. John Wick is very direct and very brutal. And so I was hoping I could play a little bit more intelligently, but it's it's much more about pure efficiency and, you know, proper execution of a plan. Which, you know, I mean, honestly, this is probably the, the best game you could get for John Wick. And it's brilliant. Like, I, I like where it's going. I think I'm not entirely sure how much more time I'm going to want to invest into it just because of, you know, the, the core concept does not grab me just as a, as a game, but I can respect what it is all the same. Because, yeah, this is really neat. And that's really all that I can say about it, honestly. Like, the style is good. I like the fact that there's a voice-acted cutscene that's kind of telling the story the entire way through. And... Yeah, as a mechanic, as like a pure gameplay mechanic tying into a, a movie, I don't think I've ever seen anything even get close to this. I mean, there's not a whole lot of movie tie-in games that are even freaking good. We've had like two. The, the Mad Max one, I think, was acceptable, and now this. There's probably a couple others that I've like totally blanked on, but this one, I I've just been really appreciating, and I don't know. I just have to, like, shower it with a little bit of praise. I don't know if I'm going to play more of this or not, uh, but it's out now on the Epic Game Store. I don't know if and when it's coming out on Steam. Please do not bother the developers about this fact, because it will get you nowhere and just make you look like a jerk. Um, but I, it's 15 bucks, and yeah, like I said, out now. So if you do want to pick it up, you're more than welcome to, because it's pretty good. Anyway, so I guess with that... Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time on one of my many, many other, many other indie games that I'm, I'm checking out. <laughs>